So, Lord, you live right here by the Rouses. Right and across the street, by the right blue a, with, a, with a blue tarp? Yes, sir. What was it like? <laughs> Horrible. I mean, the winds were bad. I was out there with my wind gauge. At times, it was 175. When the ice machine flipped, it was like 220. When they went up in there and came down on the side. I wish I would have evacuated, but I stood out. My house took a little damage, but not that much. But uh, next time, I will be going. <laughs> so, Lord, sustain-wise, you, you think 175, somewhere around there? About 175, 180. Easy. And it gust over 200? Uh, yes, sir, way over 200. What was the highest reading you got on your wind gauge? 223. 223. It's incredible. Yes. And it was howling. So, well, you live right across the street, and they're cooking a pasta lie over here at Rouse's. And you had to smell it, and I bet, I bet you put that cart in high gear and you got over here. Well, I work at Rouse's, and they, they wanted me to work with them. Okay. They wanted a real Cajun show, cracker how to cook, but I'm here. He knows I, he's getting all his tips from me, but I got it. But okay. <laughs> well, you made it through, but uh, yep. are you ever going to stay again? No. No, if it's a Category 3, I'm moving. I'm going. You learned your lesson. Yes, sir, sure did. I think a lot of us learned our lesson. Yes. I mean, it is terrible down here. I wish people, more people would see how devastated Gold Dometa is compared to the other places. We yeah. took a hit. All right, Lord. Good talking to you again. I hear you. Thank you. Since them old day camp days. Yeah, old days. <laughs> you still older than me, though. No, I'm not. You older than me. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll find some other people and talk to a lot of people here in Golden Meadow. All right, just to show you the help that we have had here in the area and here in Golden Meadow, fire departments from all over, this fire department from Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm going to go left to right, and we're going to let them introduce themselves because we owe a lot of these fire departments and our local fire departments gratitude for what they've been able to do. So we'll get their names first, okay? Yeah, Chris Foote. Austin Hawker. John McMullen. Jeremy Pickett. Jeremy said he used to fill it up in basketball, so I wish we had a go here. We could let him prove it for sure. <laughs> all right, so uh, who wants to be the spokesperson? We're going to talk about yeah, right here. All right, so let's talk about, first of all, from Jacksonville. How long have you all been here? Uh, we've been here in Louisiana since, uh, well, be four weeks this Sunday. So most of the time we spent down in uh, Port Fouchon. Okay. And what was your first initial thought when you saw the damage? Well, I mean, you know, being from Florida, we've, we've experienced a couple hurricanes ourselves, um, but it's always pretty sobering when you, when you drive through and you see, especially one of this magnitude. Yeah. So, I mean, our hearts hurt for you guys. We've been there too, but we're just glad to be here and have the opportunity to try to help as best we can. And 100%, that's what we're doing. Yeah, what, what's it like, though, to leave families and all? You said you've been here for four weeks, so obviously the families have to be patient and understanding, but it's sort of what y'all chose to do as a profession, man, and when duty calls, you roll, huh? It is. Uh, they understand that. Of course, this is a little bit different than a 24-hour shift, um, but a lot of the guys that are married, uh, especially with kids, you know, four weeks, you know, that's a long time. Yeah. Um, but again, they know what we're doing. We know why we're here. And um, that's we keep that at the forefront. And but again, Sunday's coming, and, and we're going to be heading back east. And we're glad to have done what we can, but we're ready to ready to get home to our families too. Yeah. Let me move over here to Jeremy. Have y'all been able to eat a lot of the good cooking? I know people are cooking again. Oh uh, yes, sir. It's been very delicious. Uh, the hospitality that we received here has been superb. Uh, uh, I've never experienced anything like this in my life. I mean, I go to my grandparents' house, and of course, you you are used to being treated a certain way. But from people you don't know um, to this magnitude, it's been it's been amazing. Yes, sir. Let me come over here and have y'all y'all met a lot of good Cajuns. Uh, I'm sure you met quite a few, huh? Oh yeah, yes, sir. Um, everybody, the hospitality is almost like that whole Southern hospitality thing. We get back home once you come in. Your family, you don't know a stranger, you know, so yeah. I can say that everybody, everybody's been welcoming. Everybody's been great to lend anything we need to shirt off their back here, and I'm sure we do the same for them, so. No, no doubt. And what have you, you seen the most, uh, I mean, what have you seen, the, the resilience? I know people always talk about the resilience of people in this area, but y'all get to see it 
firsthand. Has it been impressionable on you? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's uh, it's impressive how quickly everybody's jumped back up and helped everybody else around here to, to get everybody back up on their feet. And I mean, with the amount of damage that's happened, it, it's it's impressive how we've been trying to get everything back together. So. Now let's get. I want to make sure we're right. So what what company is this? We're Engine Company Seven from Jacksonville. All right, there you go. Hey, look. Once again, we owe uh, all the fire departments and law enforcement first responders a debt of gratitude. They've been out here on the front lines and helping out, doing an incredible job here in this area. And uh, hopefully one day we can get y'all back home and you can see your families. We appreciate what y'all have done. Thank, Thank you all you. very much. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with a lot more here on the bayous in Lafourche.